Notice the E in jumper over there. Mm, this has been a long time coming, hasn't it? I mean, to be fair, this is not even the right one. So you're trying to fucking get me. It's been a long time Matt, coming, Matt, hasn't Matt's it? Matt's been trying to set me up over here, but it's not even the right version of the game. Because it's know Brash! Brash! I have made several What Happened episodes Brash. about fucking Brash. Oh, shit. Liam Robertson is- Collision, oh. aka a bunch of games QA'd in my brain from this fucking logo collision that better that better be true there better be coded no arms collision contagion. problems all oh kinds of shit oh my god really are you serious yeah well you know oh jumper griffin story remember that oh. weird joke we always kept making in street fighter fight for nothing it was like jumper do you Lo like jump no it was looper i know i know it's looper. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has multiple layers of annoyance. But before you get into it, I love how this is just a slide from the original pitch of the game, like the, the GDD. Sure. They just slapped it as the only uh, graphic that they have. So this was in the era of, yo, Brash comes on the scene. What are we going to do? We're going to make games out of your movies. Your shit movies no one's going to go watch. We'll make games and get that extra money tie in, squeeze money cash. Yeah, it's like... Cash it's like, money hoes cash money. It's like, it's Rules like everything stupid around cash making a video money, game cash, based on wanted. Yeah, almost. My father once said... But to remain oh, a free what's the soul, subtitle? Always being in a state of revolt. On the PlayStation 2. Yeah, I, I didn't get an option screen. So here's the thing. <laughs> you were right. He's fast asleep. This thing on multiple levels. Look at little baby hating Christensen. But is just fucking infuriating. I bet. I because bet. on a level that has nothing to do with my own employment. Uh, there's the simple idea of nice. this kid has nightcrawler powers. Yes, Mr. that is literally I'm the so premise. And somehow you fucked that up. Yeah. The coolest thing outside of Time Stop to is to Nightcrawler. To there's several games. There's an the X-Men like two this official game where you played as Iceman, Wolverine, and Nightcrawler only. Those are the only three characters that let you control. And Nightcrawler had a section. It was okay. He's been in Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, but it's so it's like. There, it wasn't like you were breaking new ground with Jumper. You could have just looked at what other people have done, but you didn't. Well, uh, you know, was, I, I bet you the movie pitch was probably for, like, a much bigger property. And then they kind of, like, treated it into its own new IP. But it's My like, who the fuck thought anyone would go see I that? Hit. Like a movie where it's like it's kind of a famous person, this. Hayden Christensen. And Samuel Jackson's in there in a small role. He has a fucking generic ass power we've seen in other movies. Like, why would you think people would rush? Because it's there will be no blocks busted. Because it's see this. But it's the era of like maybe it'll Gone just in. land. Maybe just maybe. Hayden well, will bring the dollars in and we'll create a franchise. Team. He'll bring so the dollars the out. <laughs> Hot off of his Star Wars. Um, so, what ended up happening was I never spent any time touching this version of the game because I was. gave out about it enough that looks like you did. But I, we, I, I tested the 360 version of it, and there are nothing but hilarious stories from the fucking trenches on that one. Okay, couldn't you beat this game in like five minutes? So here's the, the, the best part, my favorite thing. Sorry. My, my favorite thing about that oh, entire... Oh, Jesus. Woo! Woo! Find did, your... did your game have knife knife <laughs> combat? Sure I don't did. expect this. Sure did, and I think he had a stick. Okay, get that Press bamf in there. Activate the jump you gotta feel the bamf. Yeah, you gotta set oh, your God. bamf and then do it. Set your point. Hold the button. Why is he auto walking? Why is he auto walking? You sure that's not this is not the wonky stick? Might be a wonky stick. I don't think so. I didn't touch it. It's an old it. controller. Okay, yeah, now okay. he's not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so hold the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is yeah. not great to do. Yeah, yeah. Now do it. Now oh, teleport over there. Okay, That's now- That's so not fun! Okay, but think about testing this. Oh shit! Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh no. Like, all of your QA fucking spider senses should be tingling the fuck out. The okay. moment you're like, well, oh, it's like a shitty normal 3D platformer, but you can teleport anywhere at any time. You can't jump, that feels so weird. Okay, so here you're restricted to what's within vision. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. In the 360 version, it was not restricted to what's within vision. Why it, is he so shaded, but the rest of the environment is not? Because it's PS2, and, it would, and they decided this would okay, make it look, enough, you know. So in that version, what would happen is, uh, oh uh, yeah, his meter. jump meter fills. Jump meter performs special jumps. Jumper. You would actually. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jump through walls that he can see through. Press R to jump through the cracked walls. Oh, yeah. I know that there's grass out there. So <laughs> jumping. Oh uh, so. The well, 360 version, sorry. What would happen? Oh, well, like, let's make it through this tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try jumping into the door ahead to break it up. Do that thing that I hate. Clip into the walls. <laughs> Sick. Imagine, imagine you go to your, you tell your mom, can you get me a game at GameStop, and she brings home this. So he's doing the cool guy fighting, because that's I mean, what. That's not that bad. That's what, honestly. that's what it's gotta be. You gotta be teleport fighting on people, right? Like, what else is the point of if you're not gonna but be doing that? Could you just teleport your hand into his heart and pull it out in Literally, front of him? Instantly, yes. Like, why can't you? Why? There'd be no downside whatsoever. Um. So what you see that so you have a targeting reticle here so that you can only jump to what's within in your sight. Oh. But on the 360 version, what would happen is you'd become a little ball of light. Possibilities were endless. And that. that ball of light would slide around the map and then you'd let go and it would move to that position. Okay. So you go through walls, you go through fucking obstacles, and if you're feeling frisky, which you, I always almost am, you'd go past trigger points like past this one. Past beyond? <laughs> You would go past the points that the game needs to know where the level progression is. Okay. And end up going straight to the end of the level and trigger a fucking cutscene. So, okay. <coughs> That's so okay. bad. Because what's the point of a level? <gasps> oh! I think! That looks so bad! <laughs> Jump to safety. There you go. What's happening? I'm so excited. This is like a real video game. And so you would basically bamf a couple times, and if you knew where to go, you just hook all the way through and then just hit the trigger point and end the fucking level. Oh, here comes La Polizia. Now they're La Dedia. Nice. Well, well played. And so, yes. what happens as a result of that is your full game becomes entirely optional. Yes. Okay. Is why now, I play. So QA team decides, let's see how bad this gets. Right? Oh shit. <laughs> yeah! I fucking love video games so much. Why was Okay, so this car drove down this little alleyway and just waited for, waited for Griffin and his story <laughs> to show up. I know Jumper will be here eventually. Jesus Christ. We know his power is to teleport, but let's ram him anyway and hope that he does not teleport oh, in time. Best. Oh my god. Good yes. plan. I'm glad that, that scene wasn't optional. So the people on the team decide to go in and, and see what we can do to optimize this this the, this fucking Oh really? This this playthrough. How see how fast we can this? get through it, right? Furthermore, there's an achievement in the game, and it's like, oh shit, beat the game super fast, right? The QA team teleports from checkpoint to checkpoint and beats the entire game in 13 fucking minutes. Like, like you know when uh, members of uh, Yacht Club or back when they worked on a way forward were watching uh, Murphigator run on? Uh huh. Double I Dragon would, Neon. Double Dragon Neon, and you see him break the game. And yeah. Some, I would love to have been a fly on the wall yeah. of collisions fucking shit, and they're just watching someone beat us in 13 minutes, and they're like, we oh, fucked I'll, up. Allow me to paint a picture of a room full of people making the guile face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, we, as they read a report what saying the game can be beaten in 13 minutes by just teleporting from checkpoint to checkpoint. Okay? So here's the problem now. Checkpoint to checkpoint, 13 minutes, but, and you're like, okay, we can try nerfing the power or whatever, right? No, that's jumper. But the whole point is jumper. Also, we decided to reward players for speedy playthroughs because an achievement 
that's worth a solid, like, what, fucking 200 achievement Chivo points or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. is literally for beating the game as fast as possible. So you're encouraging the player to beat the game as fast as possible in the days of early broken achievement points. And plus, who the fuck would care about the achievements on Jumper? So if you tell the player that they can beat the game in 13 minutes and that's the first thing they go look at, they're going to immediately know they got ripped off by buying a full-priced game that's yeah. worth 10 minutes of their time. So what do they do? They decide to change the language so that the what? achievement doesn't tell you how fast the game can be beaten, oh. and they call it beat the game in quote unquote mode. beat the game in record time. How long oh. is record time? Never tell the player. To be fair, that's that's pretty clever. Like that's the only thing you could well what you could have done is not make jumper, but like it, barring that, that's a pretty smart fix. But you're like shouldn't it? But like back then, you're like achievements need to be clear and people need to know exactly what they their goals are. Uh, run down that hallway, no? Which hallway? For straight in front of you? I, I take damage. Oh, it's electric water? It's, it is, it is, but it's not. It showed me electricity on the water. Okay, what about... I am so far off this thing. What about that surface at the edge through the door over there? Yeah, Way maybe, over maybe. there, yeah. No, I got no... No, 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 there was a jump. There was a, the light popped up. Go did, down a little up. bit, down a little bit. Aim, aim again. <laughs> Ah, fuck it. You're fine. <laughs> who cares? Literally, who cares? Yeah, see, Jumper here, he's part of Jump Force. Ah. That'll be coming out soon for ah. everyone to enjoy. He knows how to jump, and you can't say otherwise. This is, the Mac this Daddy is, make ya. <laughs> Chris Cross will make ya. No? Yeah, All right. Call and response, folks. That's, that's how. That's fine. So, uh, the, the fucking, yeah, so it's like the <laughs> These guys have taser bats, though. <laughs> Jump force! <laughs> oh, awesome. Achievements are supposed to be clear. They're supposed to tell you what you're supposed to Anyway. Uh, even babies can read them, you know? Like, this is kind of the... So the music just stops, I guess, whenever it likes. A-class bug. Griffin gets stuck in a wall. Every time you jump. Yeah, it was just, like, you're giving an overpowered ability to, to a- To Hayden Christensen. You, to, to Hayden Christensen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, this guy awesome. <laughs> Could he do that? I don't remember, I, like, I only seen the trailer for the movie. I never fucking watched it, because I, like, love myself, I guess. All I remember what? is the shot where he's in the that? desert out in the middle of nowhere so he can go anywhere at any time so why not in midair to like fucking road roller a, a cop car <laughs> onto a helicopter i can't wait for another uh cutscene that had millions and millions of dollars put into just i'll you talk about can't it for a beat me i'm a jumper brash, I'm teleporting hard with brash a cop is car like the worst like brash like is responsible for several developers closing because they promise big projects and then they hedge their bets like these developers are like, oh, okay, well, it's, you know, they, they should be fine. They're this 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 company is is headed by big Hollywood execs because we need our tie-ins. Right? Kids love the video games, and it's like they killed uh, uh, Bottle Rocket. They killed Factor Five because they were planning a big Superman game. And when they were like, DC was like, fuck you, and then Brash just ran out of money, Factor 5 had nothing, and then Factor 5 went out of business. Like the creators of Rogue uh, Rogue Leader, just gone, because of Brash. I mean, at least they tell you straight up what they're gonna be. We're very Brash. <laughs> like, <laughs> boorish entertainment. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, seriously. Didn't they put out the Alvin and Chipmunks games? They sure out? did. Oh. That's the thing, is you're gonna see a lot of collision and brash in my history because they kept coming back for more. Yeah, that was fun. I love how it's just this farty white like smoke. Like it doesn't even it's not even a cool visual effect. Like the main gimmick of your thing. And let's not get into the part where they uh where they where they got known for not paying their staff yes. and altering writers' review scores. How can, how is that possible? Jim Cusition did a bit on it, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, I thought you meant they would hack into the website and change the scores. Is uh, that what you mean? Let, is, let me. Is that the reach of the shadow organization known as Brash? 
the Shadow Corp. Uh, let me be as accurate as possible by pulling it up. Please. Because that's the stuff I know. Uh, what was the game? Yeah, they're working on a Flash game. An open world no Flash offense, game where you just ran all over. Boss. And you, and it was really, really ambitious. That's what they had Bottle Rocket, the makers of Mark of Cry. And uh, oh my god, this sucks. Oh yeah, because there's the anti-jumper force. They have weapons to stop jumpers. And they had like, like uh, Samuel Jackson had this jump gear. Or anti-jump gear, and you would make jumpers anti-jump. Seems here, according to Jimquisition, that they also flooded uh, review sites with, like, user-generated, super-positive reviews. And, it doesn't and, and really things to do anything. Um, yeah, there's a whole thing about how they went out of business in disgracefully, and all, the, and all the bullshit involved. But, uh... Man, what a company. Look at this, you can see. Oh shit! Well, what you got? Okay, Brash Games uh, ex uh, has become notorious for not paying staff, altering writers' review scores, and removing credit for work if somebody quits. Wow. Someone else. Since Brash doesn't pay its writers, so, so they, I decided the to pay a former the Brash video writer. Game industry. <laughs> Since Brash doesn't pay its writers, I decided to pay a former Brash writer to talk about his experience because I can. Yeah, yeah, so... Alright, I'm gonna fall in, in, into here and see what happened. Oh, nothing happened. I even lose health. So what's the point? Why even have the hazard there? I'm gonna do it again. Did you even lose life? What? Yeah. Why did that happen? Put me on the bug team, <laughs> Wooly. I can do it. <laughs> so what happened oh, there is no. that while I was falling down, I just pressed jump. Like, I pressed the jump, jump for jump. Oh, boy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it's in there. That's, oh, it's, it's definitely happening. Oh, it's happening for sure, sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go this way. Let's right. see what happened. Oh, getting close. You can feel the outer world. You can feel it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, oh, dude. You're on the cusp of greatness. Ah, uh, but it's, it keeps anchoring me back there. I, I gotta find the spot. The spot where collision... You're on the edge collision. of glory. Of tomorrow. And I'm hanging Damn on it. this moment with you. Damn it. The edge. The edge. Right here. Right now, Matt. Right oh, now. No, it keeps bringing me back there. I don't like that. <laughs> maybe, maybe go over here. Oh um, shit. And maybe, maybe like, maybe like. No, no, it's too good. No. Mm. In there, in there, in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's your home, jumper. I mean, Griffin. Wait, no, Griffin is the other Griff character. Griffin is the side character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not hating Christensen. No, he's the, he's the, he's the friend. Why Hence why it's Griffin's story. story. Yeah, 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 not to confuse with the character that you know from Jumper. Um, oh my How god. It, combos? It's there, but it's not there, you know? Anyway. So, that's some fucking next level shit, though, where you quit, and it's your work never gets credited. You didn't do shit. May, your na may no one remember your name. even if you're like... If the game you're, you're working on, you hate it, and you're like, oh, I'd rather that not appear on your on your resume. Yeah. You'd rather it appear on your resume because it's a game that you worked on. Like, yeah, it's no good, but it's not your fault. Or even if you just need some experience. Oh, shit. If you need some experience to prove that you did anything. Yeah, I mean, especially if you only have one credit to your thing and it's fucking Jumper Griffin's tail. Fievel goes west. Like, why, why would you... Not want that on on there. It's it'll get you work. We jumped your name out of the credits. If anything, if you say I work for Brash Entertainment, you might get a sympathy on. You might even yeah, you might get an oh god, we're so sorry. Oh Jesus, here here's a corner office. <laughs> oh, what's that jumper coin? Give it to me, bad. Yeah. I love there's no explanation for the collectibles. They're just ancient. Lara Crofts that you find. There's... 
And it's like one of those PS2 games where they're like all the, the violent versions or the 360 and PS3 versions, but the Wii and PS2 ones, they can't be violent anymore. This was definitely one of those games where, uh, I mean, or at least the 360 one, where like you're just looking at a database and it's like... It doesn't go away. Well, like, I, like, I, like, I, I might be misremembering, but I, like, usually, right, you'll see, um, like, if you, okay, let's say in a generalized state, Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> we just walked to the top of the Golden Gate Bridge, and I did a combo there, and then I returned. I thought he could only uh, jump where he, he can see. No, no. In the movies, they jump all around the world True, at points. Huh? They Who's literally stats? jump all around the world. Kills per jump attack. I found attack. three secrets. So there's only four levels. The short blade, the long blade, the short cudgel, and the long cudgel. Kills per <sighs> jump attack. What? Who cares about this super superfluous information? I'm gonna fucking die. I gotta jump you out. You do. Of here. You gotta jump out. So typically in a in a, in a database for What's a game. For jump? Typically in a database, you'll see. Uh, wow, you're just virgiling through those damages, though. That's pretty good. You're just doing trick. You got yeah. life. You got life. How? Why? Do I regain health? Is there not? Oh no, the jump cables! <laughs> they stop you from jumping. Uh, typically, you would see a database with, let's say, 75 to 80% C-class bugs, right? Like, 5% a or less A-class bugs, right? And then the rest would be Bs. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like this was almost th th like 33% across the board. Just because the nature of it was so fucking busted to begin with. Well, yeah, I mean, like, even this PS2 version, which I'm sure is very limited compared to the 361, it's just like, there, there's, there's already shit. And wow, shout you know, outs. Fucking tough. Shout outs to. <laughs> Dude, that's oh, insane. And it just loads you right there. Oh, there's more weapon. Yeah. And. No offense, but you're definitely no end game boss. Oh god. And, oh my god. And, and shout outs to James Small for like after years of us fucking You gotta send this video to him. Like after after years of just going in on the history of it. A birthday a birthday uh gift that was literally the box for the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I at which point I, I opened it up. It yeah, me. and a game I wanted was inside. <laughs> it it was like I mean, it was totally just a fuck. Why would you do this to me? No! I'll, ne I'll, ne I'll remember this move until I die. I seriously will, because that's... Who, th who, who says, yeah, that's, yeah. Specifically, I like the idea that everyone he kills, he drops off at the Golden Gate Bridge in the same spot all the time. It's his favorite. The bodies are going to start piling they up. They just start piling the, up. The fucking SFPD is going to start asking questions. <laughs> Like a 300 style mountain of bodies at the bottom of the Golden Gate because fucking Griffin is not creative enough to pick other spots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not a weapon, it's collectible. You got three jumps. Yeah, that's level three. So I, it's, it actually works like a super meter. When I have level two, that's when I get the Golden Gate fatality. And then I do, the, if I do it with three, I just do the weird jumping shit. So I guess I should just bash my head against all doors until we figure out what the fuck was. That's that's do. basically what the game was. Like, cause either I have to oh, look, kill it's a, every a game. wave. Yeah, fuck I, gates. I, that's where I came from. Oh, through. okay, well. This way? Did this open? I think this opened. Yeah, you can no, see collision that. behind it. No, the big one. You hold him back, or do you just suck? God. Jump force. Now, what part of teleporting is that? What, jump force? The thing where he's, he has a wave of power. Maybe he puts all the teleportation concentration on him. Mm. Like, you know, like, like the spot that I'm standing in, so it just creates a concussive force. I can't wait for It makes for no sense. Fight. It's like... It sure doesn't. Blah. What more fitting place for gladiators to fight to the death, huh? I can I teleport. Admit, you're as boring as I remembered. Oh, I do yeah. not think you will win this one, he my had friend. An accent. I give it your head to Roland. Keep some trophies for myself. 
Nah. I forgot that he that he talks like like uh <laughs> like fucking Ow, super eye patch wolf. Did you see a flip kick? Oh, I'm gonna fucking die here. But ha what like, shut up, you can beat fight me. To the death, huh? Like, and even if it's a video game, it's shut I up. Give me power. Anytime so someone. Oh my god, he, he's, he's overlapping his own dialogue. Well, you sometimes you got it, you know, it's Burning Blade. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you just regain your health if you just. Don't like it's it, every time there's like a character that has a simple power and then they just suddenly have other bullshit things they can do, you go like, what the fuck? Um, uh, like think of Invisible Woman. Yeah. And you're like, oh, you got force fields now. Just being invisible wasn't enough. You suddenly got force fields. Oh, cool. So you can put a force field around your lungs so you can't breathe. What does that have to do with being invisible? I'm Invisible Woman. Why would why would a mutation from falling into Earth's atmosphere? Give you that one too. <gasps> drop kicker. That's ah, uh, a spamming uh, jump. Drop kick is pretty. Good. I'll give that one more try. Then was not <laughs> never speaking of this again. That's what uh. I'm gonna do. It's killing Wooly. Oh fuck! <laughs> so that's that's jumper. That's jumper. Oh, oh, that, that, that was, whoa! You are, uh, hold on, hold on. What We're hiding you, out in you... Griffin's hideout. In the, in his deep, I dark, jumped. secret catacombs. Remember that, that. She, that little Lara Croft you found, it's right there. That's all it does. You can't even look at it. There's no even, like, text description for it. And there's, there's, there's the sword oh. you found. So I can practice my jumper katas. <sighs> Oh my god, so this this was a real, um, this was wild. Do you think there's a shadow of Hayden in the sky that would, like... He, that that shines sh down upon Griffin? On this game, but it's like he couldn't get paid enough to be in it? I think Hayden Christensen, like I said, like, I hate, like, acting was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Like, <laughs> like he's, he's Holy saying fuck. shit like that. Wow. Like, he was not in that many movies after Star Wars, obviously, but it's like, I remember some quote where he's like, He's either like Star Wars ruined like everything, or like acting ruined everything. Yeah, well, after after the prequel trilogy and then the combo one two into Jumper, one might consider handing in uh, uh, a CV to Arby's. Yeah, ha handing in your pod racer, you motherfucker. 